Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a power-up that will scale your character's size up and increase his jump. I've already added a ground and a green box, which will represent the player character. The ground is named ground, and the box is named player. I haven't set anything up other than that. First off, let's make the ground solid. Go to Behaviors, click Add New, and select Solid. Next, we need to give the player the platform behavior. Select the player, click Behaviors, and add New. This time, we'll add the platform behavior. This will allow us to move the player around and jump. By setting the ground to solid, the player can walk around on it and will not fall through. Next, we need to add a power up so that when the player collides with it, it will scale them up and increase their jump strength. Double click on the layout and select Sprite. Click anywhere on the layout and the edit image box will open. I'll just make a blue circle to represent the power up. Click on crop to remove all the empty space. Okay, now we can close the edit image box down. The power up is a little big, so I'll scale it down. And then I'll change its name to power up. I'm going to clone the power up object. And add the clone to the layout. I need to scale it down also and I'll change the name to Power Down. Last, I'll change the color to red. So the blue Power Up is going to make the character bigger and increase his jump strength, and the red Power Down object will set the player back to his original size and jump strength. First, let's just take care of the scale. Let's go into the Event Sheet and select Add Event. Double click on Player, and select On Collision with another object. Then select the Power Up object. Next, we'll add an action, and we'll use the Player object. The action we want to set is Scale, and we'll set it to 2. So when the player collides with the Power Up object, the player will be doubled in size. This only works once because colliding with the power up sets the player to double their original size, which was 25 by 25. Colliding with it again still sets it to double its original size. We need to create an event to handle what happens when we collide with the power down object. I'm going to copy and paste the whole event and we'll just change a few things. First, we'll change the object that we collide with to the power down object. Double click on the event and change power up to power down. Double click on the action and change scale from 2 to 1. If we play the game, now we can run into the power up and we're scaled up. And if we run into the power down, we're set back to our original scale. But if we jump, we always have the same jump strength, whether we're powered up or powered down. Let's go back to the event sheet and fix that. I want to double our jump strength when we're powered up. Click Add Action on the Power Up Collision event and select Player. Earlier, we gave the player the platform behavior, which allowed us to move and jump. Every object with the platform behavior has a jump strength attribute which controls how high you jump. By default, it's set to 650. When the player collides with the power up object, we want to double its jump strength. Under platform, select jump strength and set its value to 1300. I'll copy and paste that action to the power down collision event and change jump strength back to 650. If I run the game now, this is our default jump. If I run into the power up, 
The player's scaled up, and when he jumps, he goes all the way off the screen. If he runs back into the power down object, he's scaled back to the original size, and his jump is set back to default. So that's how you can set up a power up object that will increase your size and jump strength. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.